All right, week three, Operation Football. I'm fired up. Monster matchup tonight. Lincoln Southeast at Creighton Prep, our fan favorite in Fort Calhoun, the Pioneers and Boys Town. But we start as we always do with our monster matchup. Laura Michelson is live at Seaman Stadium with more on Creighton Prep, who will host Lincoln Southeast. Hey, Lauren. Andy, hey, last year Creighton Prep was the youngest team in Class A. They finished the season four and six, losing to Westside in round one of the playoffs. And Coach Tim Yonk says that young and inexperienced team faced their lumps in that season, but now they return 18 starters. And he says it's time for that growth to really pay off. Creighton Prep was tested early in week one this season, losing on the road to St. Louis Power to Smet. The team says they learned a lot about their strengths and weaknesses in that game and rebounded last week, routing Omaha Burke 50 to 15. They were led by senior quarterback Tony Coniglio, who threw for 138 yards and a pair of touchdowns. Yeah, it kind of just showed what, what this team's capable of. We're, we're able to score a lot of points. We're able to run the ball. We're able to throw the ball. But yeah, that just kind of just put it on display. You know, we went and played a really, really talented football team in St. Louis. At, uh, just met Jesuit uh, week one, um, really figured out what we can do, what we maybe need to really work on. Played in a much improved Burke team the other, uh, last week. Did, did some nice things. I think there's a lot of things that obviously early season we need to continue to improve, but I think our team is moving in the right direction and we have really strong leadership. Crane Prep hopes this can be the year they make a deep run in the playoffs. But first, they have to get through a talented Lincoln Southeast team who's 2-0 on the season and may just be the team to beat in Class A. A win tonight for those Knights could solidify themselves among the top half of Class A. But now let's send it over to our Matt Satilli, who's at Fort Calhoun for a fan favorite game of the week. Fort Calhoun and Boys Town bring out the best in each other. That's what Pioneers head coach Zach Bird told me, and that was on full display in last year's matchup. Fort Calhoun trailed by seven with four seconds left. The Pioneers completed a touchdown pass as the clock struck zero and then went for two to shock the Cowboys 30 to 29. Bird is in his second year in charge. After finishing three and six in year one, a win tonight would match last season's win total. I think our big difference uh, has just been our preparation coming into the year. I think certainly being another year in our system of what we're trying to do offensively and defensively has really helped our kids. So I think that got us off to the right foot. And I also think too, the kids uh, truly understanding what they're capable of doing and what expectations they have for themselves. Boys Town also enters the evening at 2-0, seeking its first playoff appearance since 2021. A win tonight surely would help the Cowboys cause. Kickoff is set for 7 o'clock. Reporting at Fort Calhoun High School, Matt Satilli, KETV News Watch 7 Sports. Thank you, Matt. We'll have more than a dozen games tonight, including Westside Millard West, North Star Elkhorn South, Millard North at Papio South Burke, and Westview. In Class B, we'll be at Bennington for the top-ranked Badgers hosting Hastings, Elkhorn North Ralston, Columbus Lakeview at Rakali in Class C1, and over in Iowa, Lewis Central hosting ADM. It's all on Operation Football tonight at 10.